are you? Welcome to Behind the Scenes. I'm Angela Wolf, and I'm a few minutes late today because there's been a lot going on here, and it's going to be a very short show. <laughs> Don't say that fast three times, right? It's going to be a short show because I just have a few things to let you know, and then I have a few things that popped up that I have to take care of. So number one, today we are going to talk about some velvet, and no, it's not Christmas in July. It's Christmas in October. <laughs> Can you believe it's October? Okay, so every year I want to make one of these velvet, stretch velvet tops, and I never have time to because I always wait till December when my life is so crazy. So instead, I thought I'm going to start my tops now, and I have a few ideas for you. So I'm going to give you some style ideas. Now, one thing that was supposed to be here before today, which is going to be here tomorrow, so I'll have to share this in a blog post and then share it with you next week, but I ordered four really awesome colors of stretch velvet, ones that you might not get at a normal store. Well, you might, but you're going to have to dig for it. So I can give you a hint. One is a beautiful, rich purple, Arnell, just in case you're into velvet. <laughs> uh, but I found a few other colors too. Very trendy, very nice. And so what I'm going to do is wait to cut these tops until next week. Next week, we have our hand dyeing class here, and we're working on knit tops anyways. So I'll have those fabrics with some pattern ideas for you, so that way, if you decide you want to sew along. So today, I'm going to give you a little preview of what I'm going to be working on. Say hi. Uh, we have, first of all, the big giveaway, and I want to talk about that, too. So let me make sure you can all hear me, see me. Uh, internet's a little weird today. So uh, as you know, Facebook was out on, uh, they were on vacation, I guess, on Monday. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on today. So if you don't see me well here, make sure you go to the YouTube channel because that's been working great. So welcome everyone. Thank you, thank you. So uh, by the way, this is one, yes, red. Red is definitely in there, Susan. So this is the Shirley. And you might remember this from last year. I still have not even hemmed this thing but I wear it. I've got, it has little sparkles on it and you can see it has like the little wrap, really fun. I wear it with leggings. So this is one top. I also made this one here. This is the Bella. You might remember this from the videos. This velvet is gorgeous. It's so soft. So yes, we're going to talk about velvet and I want to talk about the giveaway. So I see you all. If you've never been here before, welcome to the party. Uh, welcome to the Wolfpack. And just say hi, say where you're from, because you never know, your neighbor might be sewing next to you, or as we say, fishing, or all of the above. <laughs> I can see everybody rolling in. So, uh, by the way, did you happen to see some of the things going on in the studio last week? So last week we were doing jacket fitting, and next week we are doing hand dyeing fabrics and sewing knit tops. Now, by the way, this could be a really messy week, just heads up. <laughs> and the girls that are coming, I'm just gonna let you know, I've already ordered plastic aprons for you. And you can thank Janet for, Janice for that one because she said, what about her clothes? I'm like, well, you might get a little messy, but I've got plastic and if it's nice out, we'll be dyeing fabrics outside and we'll be sewing knit tops in here. So my goal is for each one of them to sew one new knit top a day. And depending how fast they are, they might even do better. I'm going to be sewing along too. So I will give you a preview of that next week, which is going to be really fun. By then we'll have the fabric in, but I know many of you asked, I didn't get the newsletter. Well, don't worry. I only sent a newsletter to the Fashion Sewing Club because I was behind a little with last week's class. So you want to enter? You want to enter to win giveaways every single week starting this? Well, let's see. Last week we gave away this. If you remember, we did that quickly. And I have a lot more giveaways for you. So this is what you need to do. Bring this up, maybe. Here we go, maybe. <laughs> uh, the gremlins are in. Hi, Sharon, great to see you. By the way, Sharon, uh, I have to tell you, when drank that bottle of wine, well, you guys gave us some beautiful bottles of wine and champagne but he drank that bottle of wine he was saving it just he didn't know if he was going to see you guys this fall he's going to drink it with you he said it was the best chardonnay he's ever had so thank you for that <laughs> and hi to hubby hi dorothy all right so this is what you have to do if you want to enter and it's totally random you don't there's no you don't have to buy anything to enter this is just one of my fabulous giveaways for all of you for saying thank you thank you thank you 
I was so excited the day that I flipped over and I looked on YouTube and there was 50,000 subscribers. And you're going to hear about this for the whole month because it's because of you that it was like that. And I thank you so much. So I've gotten some of my sponsors together, including myself as a sponsor. And you will have a chance to win at this point a handful of things. There might be more rolling out. You never know. But right now, here is where you need to go. I'll put a link in the comments. You need to go to my blog. This is very simple to do. All right. And each few days, I'm going to post something new. So you got to pay attention to what's going on. But the blog will be the main place because I know a lot of you are not on Facebook. Some of you aren't on Instagram. Of course, those are other opportunities for you to enter. But for now, you'll go to my blog, click on, let me show you this, click on read more. Celebrating 50K on YouTube. You can't miss the title. <laughs> And here's just a little write-up. By the way, can you guess, and I'm just curious to see if anybody can guess this. Can you guess which video on my YouTube channel has the most views? And I just looked today, and there's over 600,000 views. Now, if we can hit that to a million, we're going to have a huge giveaway. I just love fun. You know, I remember my first video that I posted on there, and actually, I had to take it down because I used music that I had not paid for, so there you learn, right? It was my fashion show, and I will have to play that for all of you in the fashion sewing clips of time. It has to be in a private setting since I didn't pay for the music, but it was my, not my last fashion show. It was a fashion show from, I think it was actually about 10 years ago believe it or not. That was my first video. So I got my hand slapped because I forgot to do royalty-free music. You learned that real quick. But guess which video is the most popular? Well, I'm going to give you a little laugh about this, by the way. I'll see if you guys can guess. Oh, yes. If it's frozen, by the way, just try refreshing because I, I don't know what's going on today. It's a little whatever. All right. So this is the funniest thing. So this was an episode of It's So Easy, and I was wearing my Rachel twin set, and I wore the stripes. I have a matching tank top, and my producer said, you know what, that doesn't look good. All right, so I'm gonna bring this up so you can see. Hi, I'm mean, a little bigger. See that outfit? Today we're going to go back to the 30s and talk about some of the beautifully draped outfits. It's one of the easiest. Okay. Take a look. There's the outfit. Now, I was mortified because she said the stripes don't look good together, which I agree, by the way. Kathy had really good taste with what you should wear. But this top that I'm wearing under there, they don't match at all. One, the one underneath is my ruched tee that I hand dyed with some red and maroon. And then the top over it, a totally different fabric that's pink and pink. And she said, don't worry, on camera, it's going to look fabulous. I was so embarrassed. I felt like I, I just grabbed clothes out of my closet, and I was absolutely mortified. I couldn't even get through the episode hardly without just like, oh, my gosh, I cannot believe I'm wearing this. All right, so that's the full story. <laughs> but then I did the whole episode. This is a draping episode, and I actually go through and drape a full gown. And I'm still mortified about my outfit. <laughs> and this is the gown. If you look at this pink one right here. Let's see if I could get a full picture there. There you go. This pink gown right here. I designed that gown by draping. It has a ton of beading in it. It has a ton of hand stitching. I did it for a contest. I actually wore it down the runway. Uh, and I didn't win, but I made it to the finals, which was nice. So I showed how to drape that. Again, the top next to it is a very similar design. That's all by draping. And so this episode was very simple, just a very simple draping episode. I'm wearing something awful, and it's my most popular video. So I'm trying to decide if everybody watched it because they're like, hmm, you don't match, or they really like the draping. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. But that is actually the video that has the most hits, believe it or not. All right, so let me go back here and I'll show you where you can sign up for the contest. Click on read more. And I'll bring this a little higher. Scroll down here. Here it is. Here's the official entry form, the way I usually do it. 
So you can, there's your name, a few questions for you to answer. You have to answer those. It just helps me decide what I'm going to show you next, right? And then if you'd like an extra chance to win, here's what you have to do. So here are the rules. You have to enter this official form. You can only enter once. Okay, so don't worry about coming back every day for that. But you can get extra entries for the whole next month. All right. So here is when we're going to draw random winners. October 13th, the 20th, the 27th, and November 3rd. So four weeks. All right. And what can you win? A lot of things. So Soy Machines Plus, you know Blaine, has generously offered a sewing machine. That will be the grand prize. So that will be on the last day. I will be giving away a full year of Fashion Sewing Club. That's worth 160 bucks. That price might be going up this year too. So it could be worth 200. Just depends which way you want to look at it. I'm going to be giving away some online classes and we are giving away a sewing mat. So there might be more that comes along too, but a lot of chances to win. All you have to do is sign up there. So that's on my blog. And you need to visit the YouTube channel. There's a link right there to go there and click subscribe. So if you click on YouTube, let me just go back here. That will take you to my YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but you already have, I'm sure. That's how it got to 50,000. And leave a comment on any one of my videos, one of your favorites, and tell me why it's your favorite. That's all you have to do to enter. So I know it's a few steps, but most of you are on YouTube, so that should be good. If you'd like extra entries, then leave a comment at this blog post right here. And you can also share one of my videos with a friend, maybe a new sewing friend that has not seen my page. And then every once in a while, I will send an email with a little extra time to enter. So you'll have a lot of opportunities. Those of you that love scavenger hunts, that love contests, that love giveaways, I'm going to make this one really fun. And this is even before my birthday. Usually my birthday week, we do all this. I thought we'd take care of this now. Let's celebrate the 50K, right? Last year was the 50. This year will be the 50K. <laughs> <laughs> the big 5-0. So let me make sure if you have any questions on that. Oh, you like the pink, Lisa. Thank you. You know, it does match on the screen, but in person, it's awful. You'll have to come here sometime and look at it in person and you'll laugh. Oh, Janet, you like your sewing mats? So actually I have, I'll give you guys a little quick tour here. I have my sewing mats up with the, the room set up. I don't have my sergers up yet because this is going to be a serger week. There we go. Uh, and I'll show you what all the mats. It sure makes it quiet when you're sewing, I have to say. And I know not everybody's a pink fan, but Sewing Machine Plus has a whole bunch of other colors. But I'm giving away an Angela Wolf pink one. Yeah. All right, so let's talk a little bit about velvet. I'm going to take a little break here and go back to the velvet. And I think I have this all ready for you. Oh, yeah. Okay, so do you remember this episode of It's So Easy where I made the Bella? This fabric... By the way, I think I accidentally cut the fabric and look what I found in the back. A hole. I'm so upset. So you might see some embroidery going over the back of this top because this fabric is so beautiful. I cannot believe I accidentally cut it. I don't know. If I'm doing a live show, you never see my back anyways. But if I go out, it might get a little cool. So this is the Bella. This was very easy to sew. There's a lot of precautions you need to do, though, when you're sewing velvet, and that's what we're going to get into. But I want to show you the fabric that I have here, just so you can see it. All right. <laughs> I can see you all saying, oh, oh, thanks, Marianne. I love red. So, uh, by the way, it, out of everything that I'm giving away, if there's something fabulous that you'd like to win or you want me to add something to the giveaway, just leave a comment about that. And if you know your favorite video off the top of your head, mention it now, because I'd love to see that. And I always, if you ever make comments during my live shows, all of that will get funneled into these as well. So, oh yes, Shirley, we'd love to have you. Oh, Ibby, good idea. Cut work on the, I knew one of you would come to the rescue. Cut work on the back and maybe a little um, embroidery in there. I think that would work. All right, let me just take you over here. If the internet will behave. Okay, so this is the same fabric. And you can actually see when I'm working on the bolt. And I'll put the rest of this up for sale next week when I get the other fabrics too. But I want to make a tank top out of this. So I'm not giving up on this bolt yet. You can't have it. Dibs are not in your favor yet. So this has a light stretch. 
I love the light stretch just because it's comfortable to wear. Uh, I can make a knit top. Like, what could you make? You could make the Rouge T. You could make the Shirley. You could basically make any of my knit tops out of this. You could even make the Linda Tunic if you wanted to. The only thing, if you're going to make the Linda Tunic, which, as you know, the Linda Tunic, you can make out of a woven fabric. You just want to make sure that the velvet isn't too thick for the Linda Tunic. Um, what you could do if you're going to make the Linda Tunic out of velvet, it would be beautiful, by the way. But I would not do the gathering in the front, and I probably wouldn't do the gathering in the back. So I would remove the gathering so it just is a nice, clean line. The fabric is a little too thick to add a bunch of gathers. It would kind of look like... I don't know, a bird's nest. Because <laughs> remember, there's gathering right here at the bust, right above the bust. It would look, I don't know. I won't say it. <laughs> if I told you what it was in my head right now, I would probably get kicked off YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> but it would not look good. It would look like you had something like resting right here. So uh, you make up your own word for it. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm thinking for the Linda Tunic, if you did that, just take out those gathers in the front, take out the gathers in the back, and then you should be good. All right, I can hear my, hold on, let me make sure that's not my door. I'm waiting for that fabric. And you know, they'll always come when you're here, when you're watching, just like, just like the uh, <laughs> plumber, Arnell behave now. Last week, we had the plumber. No, that was two weeks ago. What, who did we have last week? We had somebody here last, oh yeah, the guy for the air conditioning. And then next week, you're gonna get more entertainment. The internet guy is coming in to do some uh, major upgrades. I mean, it's already great, but I'm really upping it. So hopefully we don't have any issues with our internet anymore. Oh, Terry, if I do cut work, I will definitely do a full tutorial on that. Actually, I think it's a great idea. Thanks, Linda. I like the gray too. It's just a soft color. You know, it's actually, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but it's actually like a blue gray. Just a soft blue gray. It makes, I don't know, if, do any of you have eyes that change colors? Like mine, if I wear green, turn green. If I wear blue, they turn almost like a bluish, That what do you call that? Hazel? Um, so they change colors with what I wear. So when I wear that, my eyes turn blue. So it's like a bluish gray, almost like a steel gray, but a very rich color. Uh, can you wash velvet? So Marcia, this is a good question. Now, I actually took some fabric home this morning. I should have waited, but I actually took it home because I wanted to wash a bunch and I was working from home today. It's a very, very expensive velvet, but I had a little stain on it from a long time ago. So I took the bolt away, so I wasn't gonna sell it. But I would love a pair of Palazzo pants out of it. It's black velvet, very, very light stretch, not a lot. The one thing about velvet is the inside is usually so soft against your skin. So if you look over here, the back side of this is so soft. It's This is soft too. And don't forget, there's a nap on here. If you don't know what that is, we'll be covering that. Meaning you're going to need a little extra fabric because you have to cut all your pattern pieces going one way. Just think of corduroy pants. All right, but the back side is, is just slinky soft. It's almost cool cool to the skin. So they make great pajamas, by the way. So I took that fabric home and it was actually a combination of silk. It was silk uh, velvet. And I can't remember what the other content was in there. A little spandex. It was silk, spandex, and something else. Anyway, since I'm not going to make a fancy outfit like I thought I was going to make, I thought, you know what I'm going to make? Palazzo pants. A beautiful pair of palazzo pants. And then I could also match it with just a black a velvet tank top or a black velvet, you know, beautiful top. So I could wear it as PJs. They'd be the best looking PJs around. Or if I happen to go somewhere, you know, sometimes I've gotten into the, I still call it the COVID clothes where I just want to be comfortable. Not that jeans aren't comfortable and things like that, but a beautiful, but if you start using beautiful fabrics for same styles that are comfy, then you can look good lounging around the house. Or if you're going to run an errand, there you go. So I will definitely be showing that. That's coming up uh, on our behind the scenes. So it's free for everyone to watch. And so you'll see that. But yes, I'm testing washing that fabric though. I'm washing it and I cut a little swatch to see what it looks like in the dryer. Because I don't, sometimes the dryer can mess up your velvet. You definitely need a cool air, very cool. Sometimes I just hang it to dry because you don't want to have 
well, I don't know, dryer marks, I guess you'd say, kind of like pressing on velvet would not be a good idea. Linda, I can't find the video you showed the six needle embroidery machine. Hey, Linda, I don't know. It's probably on the brother page, not mine. So check the brother sews page, by the way. Oh, thanks, Cynthia. Ooh, Liz, that'd look good looking. That would be good looking. Stretch leather sleeves, ooh, with the velvet body of the garment. That would be pretty hot. You could actually reverse that and do leather through here, like a quilted leather, and then do the velvet for the sleeve too. Mm, you're giving me all kinds of ideas. Oh yes, velvet outfit. <laughs> Oh, Esther, you even remember the show number. That's really good. Oh, Sally, you have the same eyes. Cheers to you. Change colors. Oh, you, you all are loving episode 195. What was episode 195? Hmm. Let me look real quick. Oh, that's really old. Okay, so let me bring it up. I told Wynn if I ever had like an extra, I don't know, 10 hours, I would piece together some of the best loop bloopers out of all my videos. I should have saved those because there were some really good ones. I Clovis, I don't are you on here today, Clovis? I think my all-time favorite blooper, and you all can mention if you have if you remember one of my bloopers, because there's a lot of them. We are live, remember? And you never know what's gonna happen. But I think Clovis's husband answering the phone and wanting to hang up on me was my favorite, favorite, favorite show of all times. He became famous in like three seconds <laughs> in my book. I absolutely love that. He's like, who are you? I'm going to hang up now. I'm like, no, 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 don't hang up. <laughs> okay, here you go. Let's see what this episode is. There's the YouTube channel. And let's see which one is episode 195. This one right here. Grammarly, Grammarly helps, helps make your make writing, writing clear and get my Skip the ad. No matter where you are. You are. With Grammarly, Grammarly on your, on your computer. Oh, hey guys. guys, what was going on there? Did I have a class? Because it looks awfully messy. I remember that. Hi. Hey, look at your right. So, so first thing first I'm going to do is scan oh, in my pocket. I do remember this. This there you was go. I made it really dark so you can you see, see it. it. <laughs> Put this Put in place. In place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm cracking up. That show was so funny because the girls from the pants class were watching the show on their phones. You could hear me in both places. <laughs> that, how, that was a good episode, though. So that's 195. Those of you that have a brother machine like the Luminaire or the Dream Machine or anything that does the scanning, that's a great one for you to learn how to do that because I scanned in the pockets and then uh, showed how to embroider. And then, of course, the girls showed off all of their work that they were working on. Oh, Lois, would the velvet be suitable to make a circle sweater like you did on that episode? Um, you know, it depends because here's the thing. The back side is not really the right side. So if you want that i mean if you find a piece of velvet where both sides look okay then you could but the circle top which i have in the closet right there it actually opens up so you need both sides to look correct like like both sides are right sides because you don't face it so i don't think i would use velvet for that um i really don't think i'd use it for the square either just because both sides are not correct unless you added a facing so i would do Actually, I don't even know if I would do the Rachel unless you did both sides of the Rachel collar where you had two sides facing out. Well, that's only my personal preference, though. I mean, I just like everything to look like you have the right sides facing out. You could totally make one and make it look very cool. Maybe paint the back side with some fabric paint. That would look very cool. Oh, good, Peggy. That's good to know. Hi, Darlene. <laughs> Surely, I have a lot of bloopers. Oh my gosh, you would just, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Great to see you, Darlene, popping in. Karen, do I use a roller foot when I'm working with leather and velvet? A roller foot works good. 
I don't remember what machine you have, Karen, but it, uh, the Move It Foot is my all-time favorite. Uh, you can also use the plastic, like Teflon, technically. I'm not supposed to use that word, but the plastic foot. That works wonderful. Any of those work. Would you use a fluff setting, Liz wants to know, in the dryer because of the silk? You know, Liz, with the silk, I'm going to test that little square first on a like very low heat setting. I want to make sure it doesn't shrink, number one, and number two, that it doesn't change the texture of the velvet. So you'll need to check that. I'll let you know, though. I'm going to test it. I've got enough fabric that I can test it, and if I don't like it, I'll test it again. September 2020. Esther, you've got a really good memory. Yes, and that's when the pants class was here. So by the way, a lot of you have been emailing me about classes coming up. As you know, next week is the hands-on for hand dyeing. And that's the last class in person that I have planned. I've got a lot of virtual classes planned for the rest of the year. I will be posting the list of potential dates for in-person classes here in my studio for spring and fall of next year. They're potential. So when I post them, I'll send a newsletter out. If you want to go on the waiting list, so everybody will be on the waiting list at first. You can't even pay for them at first. If you just, all you have to do is email me that you're interested, save that date with me. Uh, I will save you on the list. And then as long as there's enough interest in the classes, because I'm coming out with some new ones, then I will actually launch the class. So uh, when that comes out, again, I will remind you so you won't miss anything. I keep the classes really small. So everybody gets a lot of great attention. So Oh, I already saw that one. I already answered you on that. Let's see. Can you come up with a, some ideas to use a heavier knit with little stretch? I have an excess supply. <laughs> Lisa. Okay, so what about like a, similar to a fleece jacket? That would be a great thing to do out of that. Uh, but I'll put some thought into that, Lisa, because now is the time to wear stuff like that. Cynthia, you read my mind. Yes, I am doing velvet with chiffon sleeves. That is one of the things I'm doing. So I don't know how you just, you just know me, I guess. <laughs> and you know, I'm going to add some embroidery to that chiffon. But yes, that looks so elegant. And that is exactly what I'm planning. So uh, you read my mind. Cat's out of the bag on one of the tops. <laughs> Lorraine, you have to binge watch. You might be there a while. Oh, that would be beautiful, Janice. Black velvet with black stretch lace. That would be very pretty. Actually, the lace or the chiffon in combination with the velvet would be beautiful. And you know, I'm kind of gotten to the point where I like to wear cute clothes, even if I'm just lounging around. So if it's called pajama clothes out of velvet or if it's going out clothes out of velvet, I guess I really don't care anymore. I love velvet. It's gorgeous for the holidays. And if I'm sitting around, I guess I'll just look cute and stop, instead of wearing my usual sweatpants. <laughs> Oh, you all remember that 195. That's funny. Uh, Trisha, it's your favorite video because you were in it. Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. Yeah, Liz, it was pretty. There was echoes all over the map. Uh, I guess that would be one of our bloopers, but <laughs> definitely. Hi, Terry. Great to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Ooh, Peggy, velvet cigarette pants. That would be cute. Velvet stretch pants, velvet cigarette pants. I don't know. I think we're going to have a lot of velvet going on. There's got to be something fashionable and fun this year. And so velvet it is. Oh, hey, Jane. Welcome to the party. Oh, Phyllis, that would be very attractive. A velvet blazer with satin lapels. You know, I had bought an out, um, it was like a lavender velvet. I'll just see if I can find it. It was cotton and silk. No stretch, a gorgeous color. And that's similar to what I was thinking of making. Now we're talking like 15 years ago and it's still in my stash. Tell me you have some velvet in your stash that you bought it and you were going to make something gorgeous and then you got sidetracked. Now you're going to be able to pull it out of your stash. But I, that's what I was thinking with that jacket, a beautiful kind of a tuxedo style or just a jacket style with a contrasting collar, beautiful top stitching. Oh, Phyllis, you're just reminding me of some gorgeous fabric. I'm going to have to go downstairs and find it in my stash. Oh, there you go, Sandra. Use that black lace. <laughs> All right, so, oh, Phyllis, if you run velvet the wrong way, it looks nice. You know, is I would, I never have tried it because I'm always like, I like to pet down instead of up. So I will try that. I've seen that with faux 
faux fur where it goes upside down. I think velvet's going to be fun. All right. So to enter the giveaway, again, I'll bring this back up. Let me just, so you have the right spot to go to. And then I'm going to head out because the internet is not working correctly. And I don't know, they're doing some construction outside. That could be my only guess here. Here we go. And I'll put the comment right here below. Oh, that's the wrong page. <laughs> we just saw that page, didn't we? There we go. Try that again. There we go. So go on here. You need to fill this out. And don't worry, I don't spam you or anything crazy like that. If you're not signed up for my newsletter, you can click yes. Uh, and then I will add you to it. It saves you a little time. Or if you're already there, uh, if you want to leave me a comment, if you have ideas of classes you'd like to attend, you can leave me that there too. Click submit. I leave it right there so it's easy to find. Scroll down and leave me a comment if you want an extra entry. That's how simple it is. And I told you what we're giving away. Oh, can you use velvet on a baggy shirt? You sure can, Sally. That would be very, very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, does anyone have the velvet you ordered to go with the beautiful? Does, oh, Terry, I have some of that lace left as well. In case you're looking for lace, I got all new bolts in black, red, burgundy, teal, and champagne. So you know what? I actually buy the velvet from the same company. I'll look and see if there's anything that matches those. That's a great idea, Terry. I will double check. Liz. Angela, you have to dry your velvet with silk in it to fluff setting. You misunderstood me. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Lavender would be pretty. Arnell, they didn't have a light lavender. It was a dark, a dark, real dark, rich purple. Darker than your sewing room. Hi, Arlene. Angie, I see everybody rolling in a little bit later. Oh, Susan. Susan, what's your favorite color for velvet? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Definitely Celeste. Okay, so you guys want a quick tour of what the studio we cleaned up yesterday? Let me show you what it looks like. Don't get seasick while I take you around, though. I'm just going to give you a quick preview just from this one spot here. All right, so cutting table was clean until I started working on the project yesterday. We've got the sewing machines out. I don't have the sergers and the cover stitch machines out yet, but you can see all the pink mats. They fit right on here beautifully. Uh, as you know, I changed the chairs in my studio for my classes to uh, beautiful office chairs that go up and down, so it's comfy for everyone. I've got my Luminaire back there for sewing, my dress forms. There's the six needles. I always have the machines up. And I will be making sure that my cover stitch machines and my sergers are up because next week is knit. And that's going to be a real big deal. And we're going to make a big, big mess. I can just tell you already. So there you go. There's the classroom. Some of you asked. And hopefully my camera didn't go blinky on you. It is. It's not Friday, but it's close. <laughs> oh, maroon. Susan wants maroon. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Susan, red. Always red. I'll I'll take a look. I They do have wine color. That would look good. You know, some of these fabrics, that big batch I'm waiting for, I ordered that, gosh, over a month ago. I can't remember what's coming. It's going to be like a heyday here. Now, Fashion Sewing Club, I sent a newsletter out. Um, I don't remember if it was Monday. Or Tuesday, they kind of all blend in together. One day earlier this week, I sent out the newsletter because we have a live show later this week, and I'm going to show you how to make a gathered top that you can make out of either a, a really thin knit or like a rayon or a silk or some a woven fabric, basically, a very loose woven fabric. 
I'm going to teach you how to do gathers all the way through the neckline and the shoulder. We've been doing gathers through the sleeve. I'm going to do, show you how to do gathers everywhere that will make a beautiful top that you could wear with jeans or dress it up, however you want. That's what we're working on today. And then we have a fabric stash sale in two weeks. So a new format. I have a new app for you to download. Go to Angela Wolf Patterns under your app, under Android or Apple, and download the app. And that's how you'll be able to participate. Ooh, Trisha, pink velvet, that'd be fun. Uh, Lorraine, uh, so it's actually red, and in the screen, it looks orange, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know about your screen. Uh, Richie, the competition for USA only or the whole world? <laughs> I love that. So Richie, by the way, the online classes, the Fashion Sewing Club are open worldwide. The sewing machine and the mats are USA only unless you want to pay shipping. But I'm throwing some other things in there, too. So anything virtual is um, open worldwide. The products, because they're coming from a different company, they have chosen USA only. So you get half. So still enter. <laughs> because if you win on one of, let me just put it this way. If anybody overseas wins the sewing machine and they say, you know what, I don't want to pay shipping, I will give another gift of the same value that's virtual. And then we'll draw another name for the sewing machine. All right, because I love all of you from overseas, or I guess I'm overseas, whichever way you want to put it. <laughs> oh, Connie, you're hilarious. You're going to buy a bank building. <laughs> well, I have the safe for you. Uh, do you still have the gray scallop lace? Liz wants to know. Hmm. Let's go check. All right, Liz, are you talking about this? This, this lace? I have a little bit of this left. This has a beautiful scalloped edge. It's like metallic, see-through. This would make really awesome sleeves. But this would look really good with a fabric underneath of it as well. Not red, maybe, but I do have some of that. If you message me, uh, this one here is two yards. And then I have some other pieces, too, if that's what you were looking for. If you're looking for the one that's similar to the black lace, I have to look downstairs. Oh, you're all saying it looks orange. Uh, Peggy, the Fashion Sewing Club is, oh, I think it's tomorrow. Let me look real quick. Because the other, we're doing two live shows later this week. One is for the pants class. Are you in the pants class? Because that's a class that just keeps living on. And we're going to do a Zoom. And I let me just see what the date I picked for that later this week. So tomorrow is Fashion Sewing Club at 2 p.m. Thank you for asking, Peggy. And then I tentatively put in Friday at noon. Friday at noon Eastern for the pants class. But it's it's I have a question mark next to it only because I have a meeting. So that's why you haven't gotten a newsletter about it yet. If I can't do it then, then the pants class will have a Zoom the week of the 18th. Uh, that is, I, I, know, I agree, I love this. Isn't it gorgeous? This with a pair of black, uh, you guys are getting me all into the winter, black faux leather pants. Or maybe a black velvet jacket style with this as the sleeves. Ooh, this would be good. This would be so good looking. Or a black skirt. And then use this as the hemline. I know, this could be so much fun. It's crazy fabric. Oh, hey, Donna. So glad you could make it. Shirley, can we go to our brother dealer and get the same? Um... As far as the machines I have, you sure can. <laughs> I don't sell machines, but you could to your brother dealer. Uh, Karen, do we have to set up a new account in your app. So in the app, you go to Angela Wolf. Here, let me bring it up. Hold on a second. I'll put a link up here for you. 
you do have to create an account down there if you want to watch the live shows, the live fabric stash sales. Um, it's also a different place where I'll be selling patterns and things like that. But um, I'm going to kind of use it as like a bargain area too. So if I have some fabric I just want to throw in there, it'll be in the app. So let me just give you a link. How long have we been waiting for this? <laughs> Since January. Oh my gosh, this took forever. There must have been a glitch or something. But they've been so, the company's been so awesome to work with. So I'll just show you the Android. Here is okay, here's the Apple. Apple one. And I'll bring this up so you can see it. And I'll put the link down below. You know, I'll put I'll do a full blog post on this too, so you guys don't miss it. I think this is it. There you go. And here, this one's to the Android. You have to download the app on your phone. If I go live, you know, you never have to be on Facebook then for that. You can watch it right from your phone. So here's the app. It's free. You would look this up on your phone and you can download it. That's for Apple. And let me see. I can bring you the link for, I'll put it in the comments here. Here's the Android. There you go. And if you register on the app and you register on the website, and if you decide to partake in any of these fabric stash sales, um, then it's faster for you to check out. It's going to be kind of a really fun thing. I'm very excited for it. All right, there's the app. And then here is the website. Here it is. So we got it. Thankfully, I got like three screens up. I never find all this. <laughs> and here is if you decide that you're going to sign up on the website, let me share the screen. There you go. You have if you sign up on the computer, you have to either sign up on Facebook or Instagram, which I know many of you are not on, which is why I invested in the app, because I know many of you would rather just watch from your phone. Uh, but this is just for fabric stash sales. Nothing, nothing else will be on there. If that makes sense. Oh, thanks, Shirley. So I put all the links below, you should be able to find them. And if you are in the fashion swing club, and you did not get the newsletter, please let me know. Can we just go to the Apple App Store? Yes, Marsha, you can. You go to the Apple or Android and just look up Angela Wolf Patterns. And then you'll see my logo come up. It will look like this. Yeah, I'll just share it. So make sure you don't download something that you don't want. This is what it looks like. On Apple or you'll see my logo here and it says Angela Wolf Patterns. And the app was made by Comment Sold. Okay. And this is what it looks like. So make sure that you go and get the right one. I don't want you to download something that you don't want. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rebecca. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Mary Lou. All right, any questions on the contest? Because next week, let's see, what are we drawing for next week anyways? Now that we just mentioned that, I better check. Because <laughs> we have so many giveaways. Oh, good, Abby. Something new, right? Also, to make it very easy, it's going to be a really fun way if you're trying to get a couple, some good deals, you want to see the new fabrics coming in, um, and it should be fun. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Charlotte. Oh, hey, Rebecca. Yes. If you're on both, actually, uh, when I go live, if, if I go live on the Facebook, if it's in the Private Fashion Sewing Club group, you can watch on the Facebook page or on the app or both, whatever you prefer. All right, so this is what we're going to give away next week. So back to your question. I'm pretty sure next week can be, yes, next week you can be in any country in the whole wide world as long as you have internet. <laughs> so next week, this is what we're drawing for. You will win Serger Class 101, 102, and 103. 
That's the full serger se series I have right now. Learn how to use your serger, learn how to use the cover stitch machine, and learn how to do some other things on the serger. So you got serger 101, 102, 103. That's what you can win next week. Now, if I draw a random winner and you're already in those classes, then I will give you the option for the embroidery classes, which is 101, 102, I think we did 103, 103. So good luck. Good luck, good luck. And then the following week, we're going to be giving away, I'm giving away a pants master class, which as you know, is open now. Doesn't mean that you're not, you know, you weren't there for the live part, but the class is still open and there will be, uh, I guess you would say, some random Zoom meetings that we get together so I can check your fitting. And you're also going to win the new sewing designer jeans class, which I will be announcing next week, which will be in November. So that's what we're going to give away on the 20th, October 20th, October 27th. You'll have an opportunity to win one year fashion sewing club. So, so far, anybody in the whole wide world could win that. And then the grand prize will be the sewing machine. And then again, I told you I'm throwing a few other things like the mat and stuff like that. All right. Anything else? Celeste, how do you win? Go to my blog, AngelaWolf.com, and click on the blog. You enter there, and that's how you can enter. If you want extra entries, you go to YouTube, leave a comment under one of your favorite videos. You can share my YouTube channel with a friend. All of this will show up to give you extra entries. Susan, or you can gift it to someone. Yes, you can. Yes, you can always gift it to someone. Beverly, I, Beverly, I, I just had to stop you. You made my day. You made my day yesterday. I was scrolling through Facebook and I was on my way to the pants class to see if I needed to help anyone. <laughs> then I got called and I had to run away. So I didn't help yesterday, but I will be it, for those of you in the pants fashion Facebook group. But Beverly said that she had her friend over and her friend loved her pants. Beverly, I made my day and her friend said, call Angela right now and tell her how good your pants look. You should have called me. I would have loved that. <laughs> Beverly, that is so awesome. So thank you. Thank you, thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, great prizes. And I had a few other people call that said that they might like to give away prizes as well. I haven't decided if I'm going to let them participate now or maybe during the birthday week because we have a lot of co things coming up, remember? This week is anniversary week, which is why I need to run here shortly. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Esther. Ivy, my first shop would be the Taylor's Clapper. Well, that's the best tool in your sewing room, if I don't say so myself. All right, anybody else have last minute questions for me or I'm gonna let you go. Oh, thanks, Sue. Serger classes are awesome. So as you all know, once I do the class, if it's virtual, you have a, an opportunity to participate live. Then I turn it into an online class. You can go back and ask, access it anytime. So even if you are just a new Wolfpack member and you say, hey, wait a minute, I want to go take that pants class, you can sign up anytime and you can watch the full videos. You can still ask questions. There's a discussion format in there and there's a Facebook group. So the classes that just keep going. <laughs> oh, thanks, Susan. And I think I saw a few other anniversaries this week from some people too, or maybe it was this month. Thank you, Lorraine. You brighten my day too. Thanks, Liz. So you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to let you go. Uh, go to the blog. Make sure you leave a comment. Now, by the way, if you've left a comment on the blog, how the blog is set up, if you've left a comment before, what happens is you'll auto your comment will automatically show up because they know you're not a spammer or whatever they call those people. <laughs> if you're new to my blog, I go in about three times a day and allow the comments to go through. So if you leave a comment and it says waiting, just know as soon as I pop in, I will let it go. So it didn't go into like outer space. It's there. Thanks, Trisha. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And I'm very looking forward to seeing the rest of you. Fashion Sewing Club tomorrow, pants class, possibly on Friday. I'll keep you posted on that. I wanted to give you enough advance notice that you could take some time to be there. So. All right, everyone. I'll tell when you all said happy anniversary and I hope you have a great day. Bye.